Hello folks, Matt Peterson here, and welcome to our YouTube channel. If it's your first time, uh, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the videos that we post uh, from the Power Platform, things outside the Power Platform like Teams, Office, Excel, etc. And what I want to show you in this video is if you've been using model-driven apps in the past and you have lookup columns, have you ever had the problem where you, you have one field that you look up to and then you have another lookup field that should really be dependent upon that? What am I talking about? So let's say that for this scenario I'm going to show, uh, we're going to have a travel and I'm going to choose, I'm traveling to the state of Florida. Then I need to pick the city that I travel to, which is going to be a lookup to my city table. But unfortunately, when I get there, I see all the cities and not just the city for Florida. Is there a way to fix this? And there is. It's called using a cascading filter option idea here. And that's what I want to show you here. What are some of the troubleshoots and how do we actually get it to work? So stay tuned and see what we can do here. All right, so what you can see, I've made a quick little model driven app. I have one table that has a list of different states that I've created. I have another table where I've listed some cities and I now have my travel table and I'm ready to make a travel record. So I come up here, I click on new and I'm going to say, you know what? I want to go to Florida. And so this is a lookup to my state's table when I have a Florida record. Now I'm going to choose the city. But what we see is I see all of the different cities that were from that city's table. And what I would really like to see are just the cities that are for Florida. So this is kind of a two step process of how we get this fixed. So let me start off here with step number one. The first thing I'm going to do is head on over into my solution and I'm going to go to that that lookup field that is the one that I really want to be filtered down based off of a, another lookup field. So think of the state as like the parent, the big overview, and then the cities are kind of dependent upon what state I make. So whatever your subcategory field is, so to speak, what we need to do first is on that table that is the lookup to that subcategory, we also need to add another lookup column on that table that then looks up to the parent table. So I can associate Orlando with the state of Florida, Jacksonville with the state of Florida, San Diego with California, you get the idea. So that is the first thing that we're going to get executed here. So on my city table, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a new column. So I'm just gonna come up here and add in a quick little column here. And for this column, I want to do a lookup to my state table. So I'm gonna call this the state column. I'm going to choose a data type of a lookup and I'm going to relate it to the state table that I've already created. And then I'm simply going to come down here and hit save. Now, the next thing that I need to do is I now need to add this column to my form because I already have these cities made. Now I want to relate them to those individual states. So again, this is how we started off and I realized I want to make modifications. So I'm going through and making the modifications. The way I like to teach is show the problem that doesn't work. And then how do we fix it from the ground up? So here's my form for my city. And what I'm going to do is add in that new state column, which is a lookup to the state table. And I'm going to save and publish this form. And after it saves and publishes, I'm going to close this out, refresh the model driven application. And then hopefully we get this lookup filtering action working for us. So I'm going to close out of here. Actually, you know what? I am going to keep this open for just a few moments. Let me come back on over and let me refresh the model driven application here. So I'm going to reload this. So I'll give this a second here. And the first thing is I now need to relate those cities to those individual states. So I'm going to come into Atlanta and I'm going to associate that obviously with Georgia. I'm going to save and close this, go to Jacksonville. I'm going to put this for the state of Florida, save and close. And then Orlando, got two more here. Won't keep you long on this video, goes to Florida. And then finally, San Diego, I'm going to have go on over to California. And then I'll save and close. So I now have that set up. So now what hopefully I should be able to do is come on over to travels and make a travel request and based on the state have only the city for that state. So I'll come on over and I'll pick on my travel state and I'll go with Florida. Then I'll come down to the travel city and uh, unfortunately, uh, no good. 
All right, so I did step one here. So step one was to take that subcategory field and make a lookup to the parent table, so to speak. So city looks up to the state, but I still wanted to get filtered down here. So I got step one done. Now I have to move over here into step two, which is I have to make a form modification on my actual travel form. So that's the next thing that we're going to get set up here. So let's take a look at how it's done. So I'm gonna come on over and I don't need this form open anymore. This was for my uh, city table. And where I now need to head on over is I need to go back to, or first over to my travel table. And on my travel table, I'm gonna come on over to the forms and gonna go into that main form that we were currently working on or working with inside of the application. So in the form, I have my two lookup fields. All right, so this state is looking up to the state, the city is looking up to the city. But what we need to do at this point is whatever that subfield that we wanted to filter over, we have to modify it here in the form. And the way that I do this is I'm gonna click on Travel City. All right, and after I click on Travel City, down here there are some options you get with your lookup fields. And they're all down here underneath filtering. So I'm gonna choose filtering right here. And from here, I can do a filter by related rows. And so this filter by related rows will allow for the relationship of our other lookup column. So when I pick Florida, only show me records that are related to Florida from that relationship. So I'm gonna choose that I do wanna filter by related rows. This is not turned on by default. And then I need to come down and choose what I'm doing this over. So the relationship to my current table, I need to choose the travel state because the city is the one that has a relationship to the travel state. And then it's automatically gonna put the relationship to the lookup table, which is the state to the cities. So once I make those modifications here, now my filtering should be set in place. Now one other thing I typically like to do on this column, once I set this filtering action up, is I will come up here to the top and I will go disable most recently used items. And the reason I turned that feature on is because yes, right now we're gonna see the filtering action working here, but as you know, or you might not know, when you go into a lookup field, it's gonna show you your recently used records. So even if I click on Florida, and a minute ago I'd made a record for San Diego for a city, well, if I click on Florida and go down to city, it's gonna automatically pop up with San Diego. But the idea is I only wanna see records just that are related to Florida from that lookup column. So I turn that feature off when I do this here. So now that we've done it, now we gotta see, does it really work, Matt? Did you actually do this correctly? So I'm gonna do a save and publish. After it goes through saving and publishing, I'm then gonna head back to my model-driven application where we know it was not working appropriately the first time, right? I click here, I see all of my cities. Well, hopefully now, once I refresh this, I'm gonna reload and I'm gonna choose a state and I'm gonna go a state of Florida. And now I'm gonna to go to Travel City. Notice, hey yo, there we go. I only see Jacksonville and Orlando because they are the ones that are related to that parent table, which was the state table. This is the reason we had to add that extra lookup column to that subcategory table to define that relationship. And just to make sure that I didn't make a mistake here, I'm gonna come on over, choose California. I'll come to City. And yes, I only see San Diego. So if you've ever had that issue where you couldn't get a filtering to work based on those lookup fields, this is how you get it executed. And you could make it even to a deeper one if you had more subcategories as well. You just continue to use that process throughout. So hopefully you enjoyed. And if you're interested in learning about any other training that Pragmatic Works has to offer, look at the description below. We have on-demand learning. We do private trainings. We do hackathons where we help you build apps, build Power BI reports. We would love to become a training partner with you. And if you're interested, we'd love to help out. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll be seeing you in the next one.